Hello, welcome to Jason Old Millennial. My name is Jason, speaking to you here in my basement in the great state of Kansas. And this is a end of the year video as we're closing in on 2023 and we'll be in 2024 in a couple days, uh, um, Monday. So a lot of people are doing this and I did this last year, so I'm kind of doing another kind of reflective year of the year 2023, kind of hit some highlights and some shout outs of some great channels and people that I've got to collaborate with or meet or all, all the above. Anyway, so yeah, I definitely want to uh, kind of talk about this last year um, on the channel. I've been doing this for about two years, maybe a little over two years. Started back in 2021. So we're getting close to, I guess, be coming on my third year on YouTube. And uh, I'm now up to 252 um, subscribers. So uh, I was glad to get over 250. It seemed like a milestone, a good milestone to get over this year. Because um, I think I started with less than 200 at the beginning of the year. So I feel like I'm getting about 50 subscribers a year or something like that. So it's nice. So I guess my goal is to get to 300 next year would be a nice uh, round number to get to. Uh, always like growing a little bit though. I don't try to concentrate too much on the numbers. Obviously I don't have a big subscriber uh, channel as some uh, other people do and it's not growing as fast as other people, but the people that I do meet have been uh, really great. I love to do more collaborations with people and get to meet new more people through that, you know, and I appreciate everybody that's subscribed to the channel Everybody that's watching my videos, obviously, I'm I'm overly gratitude towards everybody for that. Um, but yeah, so it's great. Still, channel still growing bit by bit. Um, uh, my collections are growing quite a bit. Um, I started collecting maybe a little over a year ago. I think I, I started collecting physical albums, uh, CDs, and final records, which has been a blast. I love collecting. Um, especially vinyl records has been really fun getting, I never thought I'd have a, a record player in vinyls. Like, that's so cool. It's like you're owning a piece of history to me, music history. And I love that owning a piece of that history through that. Um, but yeah, so I've got like over 50, um, a little over 50 albums on vinyl and a little over 60 albums on CDs. So uh, I have over a hundred albums total, which is crazy. Cause I think even when I was younger and I was buying albums, uh, I probably never had more than 20 albums in my collection and they were all CDs and cassette tapes back when, you know, the nineties, two thousands era. And so it's crazy to go, man, I have so many albums and a lot of that I've bought them, but a lot of it's thanks to some people that have gifted me albums like Scott from, uh, Soundlab Studios is he's gifted me so many records, vinyl records. I, I, I definitely wouldn't have the record collection I would have without him. And he always gets like the original type, the original kind, you know, he, he's real good at getting good deals on vinyls. He knows how to get those. And uh, I know Briar sent me a vinyl, uh, the, um, the Parcel Stage Rosemary Time, I believe that was his vinyl he sent me. So I appreciate that. And then Rob from Rob Scrub Music has sent me 20, 30 CDs, I feel like. He sent me a couple of times, he sent me a box full of CDs. And so my CD collection is definitely way bigger because of Rob. So I appreciate that, Rob. Um, but yeah, uh, this last year, uh, highlights, I would say, personally, um, the big highlight was I got to spend two and a half weeks in Europe with my mom. We went to Germany, Austria, and Czech Republic. So we got to um, travel through three different countries. Uh, I got did a lot of traveling. Like I said, we saw so many, it seems like every other day we're in a different city. So we got to travel through a lot of different cities and I saw a lot of different things. And I do love traveling through Europe. It's one of my favorite things. If I have the money, I would do more. It's uh, very expensive. Um, but thanks to my mom paying for the trip, I got to do that again. Uh, we went back in 2008 and I've been in England uh, back in 2015. So uh, yeah, maybe more Europe travel in the future for me. I definitely want to go back to England. Uh, and we'll see when I'll be able to have enough money to do that, but that'd be a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, that was, that was a great time. Uh, some stressful moments for sure, but those make for really great stories. I get to tell afterwards and I have so many great pictures to show people. That was fun to get to do that and talk about my experiences and just, you know, yeah, I think about it all the time. My, my trip to Europe, uh, you know, it's always been always a blast to go travel. I love traveling. So yeah, and I even started a travel segment on my channel. <laughs> Jason the Midwest Traveler. So that's been fun to showcase videos. And I hope people enjoy those. I kind of didn't do so much this last several months. I don't know, just budget reasons. 
And but next year, definitely want to do more travel videos. Uh, do love traveling and and talking about travel and all that. Definitely, uh, yeah, it was great doing that. Um, we, uh, my wife and I, we moved to a new house a couple months ago. Uh, we're in the same town. We're still in the state of Kansas and all that. It wasn't a big move, but still moving is always not fun and uh, always kind of difficult. But we're settled now in this new house, and I got a new setup and everything. So, uh, yeah, that was a big, big thing to do this year. Um, but, yeah, besides that, those are kind of some of the highlights uh, of, of my personal life. Um, and then just on the channel, I guess, um, obviously, I've done so many collaborations with so many people and love doing that continue to want to do that obviously next year and got a lot of series that i've been going through i finished my ranking every beatles song series finally that took like two years to do um but there's like 212 13 you know uh songs to go through and then we got a new beatles song this year that i didn't even have on the list because it came out unexpectedly and i mean that was crazy i got to listen to a new beatles song in 2023 that was a really cool moment of 2023 that and the the music video was one of the greatest music videos i've ever seen definitely was crying uh you know watching that from peter jackson so that was cool got some great beatles stuff <laughs> even in 2023 we're getting great beatles stuff new beatles stuff out there uh which has been really great um uh movie wise it's been interesting we've uh, had that strike happen which kind of you know really hurt the movie business um we had Barbie Heimer was the big movie thing. I mean, that was huge. And I've seen both movies. I didn't see them in the theater. And I'm not as crazy about them as other people, but uh, it's crazy that, that that just really was like the talk of the summer. It was like, that's a big movie moment of the summer was just how they put Barbie and Oppenheimer on the same day. And people went and saw both movies in the same day and it blew up and both were like billion dollar movies. I never thought either movie would be that big, but uh, that was a cool thing, I guess, that happened this year, um, movie-wise. Um, you know, he talked about all the Marvel movies bombing, DC bombing. Uh, definitely Disney's still doing terrible, going downhill big time. And I don't know if they'll ever catch up. Unfortunately, the movie business still is having a lot of trouble, I think, um, with politics ruining their, uh, ruining their brand. So we're still seeing that um, over this last year. Um, but still some great movies coming out or I, I still have some great, I only saw four movies in movie theater, so I'm still not out there seeing movies, but mostly streaming and, and video on demand, but, uh, still been, I watched, I think over, I watched 55 or so movies, I think this year so far, and I got many more to watch in the next month to try to catch up with all the ones I missed. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, that's going on there in the, in the movie world, music world. I don't really listen to new music, unfortunately, but. Uh, it's been great to discover new bands, old new bands, I guess you can say. Um, I did 10 deep dives. I started doing deep dives this last year, which has been great. I want to do a lot more. I have so many ready to do. Um, I just have so much going on. Oh, yeah, because I was talking about stuff I finished. I finished that Beatles list. Um, I'm still doing the top 100 favorite albums list. I got 12 more albums to talk about, so I'll finish that this next year. Again, I've done that for like two years. That list has taken me a long time to get through. Um, I started the Harry Potter ranking list, which I got two more movies to talk about to finish the, the Harry Potter movie series. I've um, uh, been doing a uh, ranking all the best picture winners, all 95 best picture winners. And I still have several videos to make to uh, get that through this next year. And then I'll have start on some new projects. Um, I think I, I did a uh, Pixar ranking video this last year, so I ranked all the Pixar movies. I did an MCU all the way from Iron Man to Endgame. I ranked all those movies this last year, so it's been some really cool projects I've been working on and got to finish. Some of them I'm still working on, and then I got a bunch of new projects uh, to work on in this near future. Um, besides all the deep dives, like I said, I, I did like um, I started with uh, Tom Petty and Heartbreakers, which has been great because I really didn't know a lot about Tom Petty, so I got to discover that music. Uh, I did one at ELO, which is another band I didn't know much about, and that's been great, uh, discovering them. And that's one of the great things, is doing these deep dives, and I'm trying to go through all the discographies of these bands. I'm not, some of them I'm real familiar with, some I'm not that familiar with, or at all, and it's been great kind of discovering the music for the first time, it seems like. 
uh, Steely Dan, I did one, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, they definitely, the early stuff I like more than the later stuff, but um, still it's been great because everybody loves Steely Dan. I, I always hear people talk about Steely Dan, so it's great to finally, I, I kind of know who they are now. Um, I did the Beatles, of course, which obviously that was, I did like a five part series on the Beatles because uh, I, I love talking about the Beatles and I have so much knowledge about them that I could spend a lot of time talking about them. So that was still kind of fun getting to do that, even though that wasn't a new discovery, but it was great going through that. I did a Queen, which was great. I was familiar with Queen, but uh, it was really great going through all their stuff and getting all those hidden gem and really getting those albums that I didn't know were that great. And now I'm like, wow, there are so many great albums in the Queen discography. And I know Briar's pretty happy about that, that I've now I'm a big Queen fan. Um, and a lot of that thing was to, to well, I'll get to some shout outs here in a bit, but thanks to uh, one of my uh, subscribers. Um, uh, let's see, who else? Uh, Simon Garfunkel. I was already real familiar with them, but that was that was great. Did a lot on Simon and Garfunkel. Um, one of my favorite groups of all time, favorite doer of all time. Uh, I recently did Traveling Wilburys, which is a, a pretty short one because I only did two albums, but I'm still got to do a top 10 of them uh, pretty soon. Did CCR, another band I didn't know a lot about, but definitely a lot, got a lot of great stuff there. The Police I did um, as well, another band I wasn't familiar with that I really wanted to get to know, so that was great getting to know them. Anyway, so those are some of the deep dives I've done this year, and I've got so many planned for this next year. So definitely we'll be diving into more bands and artists and uh, getting through you know all their music, talk about the music, talk about the backgrounds and history and all that. Do, I love doing the research, and hopefully my videos are somewhat educational and uh, people enjoy those. So still continue to do those in the future. Um, I've got so many projects lined up. I, I can't talk about everything I, I've got ideas for. Um, oh, one of my favorite things I did this last year is we did, uh, I, I had this idea of this um, uh, 50 essential albums per like every, uh, per a uh, couple decades, 60s, 70s, and 80s. We did three videos, live streams on my channel. Um, I did with uh, Scott from SoundLab Studios, Nick from Townsend 909, and Briar from Briar's Music Showcase. And uh, we, yeah, we did three live streams on my channel uh, where we uh, kind of came up with, a, as a group, we came up with the 50 albums per decade that we thought were essential for everybody to listen to. We each had to come up with like 12 or 13 albums a piece, if I remember right, or not even more. But anyways, that was so fun. I mean, well, the fun part was not knowing what the other people were going to pick and then having to adjust what you're going to talk about based on what the other three people in our group were going to um, talk about and trying to make those hard decisions. What what albums are going to cut out of each decade that weren't going to make it? And it was fun just talking about your favorite albums uh, per decade. And I know, I think we all four had a lot of fun in that. Uh, and I got pretty good views, actually. I, I did, did pretty well in the views on that. The 1970s was very interesting. It was a six-hour video. It's the longest live stream I've ever done in my life. Six hours. And it got really good views, actually. So that, 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 was, that was crazy. We... I forget, we were, oh man, that was a long one. Uh, we've done a couple of long ones on other channels. Like I, I did the uh, Who album ranking, I believe on SoundLab Studios channel, which was a, uh, like five hours. And then we did a Queen, uh, me, Nick, and Bri did a Queen album ranking that was a five hour stream. So I've done a couple of five, six hour streams this year, uh, which maybe a little too long, but still so much to talk about. We do, we do have a lot of fun um, hanging out and talking about about music on, on our channels. Uh, but yeah, that's been one of my favorite experiences I've ever had doing the 50 essential albums uh, every decade. Um, I started another series, which we did one and I got two more planned. Uh, it was um, my own music hall of fame. We did the 1960s, um, me, Scott, Nick, uh, Briar, and uh, Adam. And we did two different videos uh, where we got to put artists from the 60s into our own uh, music Hall of Fame, and we're going to do one for the 70s this next year. Uh, we got them all lined up. We just have to find days we can get together, and then we're going to probably do one in the 1980s, and that's usually about the only three decades we cover, 60s, 70s, and 80s, um, though I do love to do 90s. Sometimes I'd love to talk more about the 90s, and maybe even the 1950s. I don't think we talk enough about some of the great music from that decade either, but 
Uh, I definitely want to cover uh, some more, but yeah, we definitely got some more videos dealing with our Music Hall of Fame uh, that I'm looking forward to doing. Those have been a lot of fun. I got other ideas to do, I guess, with all those people I collaborate with. And uh, I'll, I'll get to those later when we get closer to those periods when we start doing those. But yeah, lots of stuff planned. Uh, it's been great doing all these collaborations and projects and video series. I, I have a lot of fun doing the research and uh, yeah, just talking about some of my favorite movies and music. Yeah, so that's been really, really great. Um, so yeah, I think that's enough talking about my channel. I want to end with, of course, doing some shout outs, shouting out some people that um, either I've collaborated with on my channel, on their channel, or on somebody else's channel. Um, and then also shout out some people that have maybe uh, commented on my videos or I've uh, kind of got to know on their videos, you know. So I got a lot of people shout out. Uh, I want to start with some of my closer uh, friends and that I've collaborated quite a bit this last year and been having a lot of great times with. And uh, so I want to start with Mike from Did You See That? Uh, it's been one of my closest friends um, in the last year. Uh, we've collaborated a lot, maybe the biggest collaborator I've had, one of the biggest, if not the biggest. Uh, a lot of that's thanks to his uh, Zetox series, which uh, I am the Zetox champ, as I like to call myself. <laughs> uh, and Mike indulges me in that because I've been on the most Zetox out of everybody, which is an honor that I proudly like to brag about because I'm so uh, honored that I got to be on that show so many times. I watched that show before I got to be, got to know Mike and got to be friends with him. And I'm such a big fan of the channel. And then to get to know Mike has been such a blast and, uh, been so uh, important to me in the last year. He's Mike's been such a close friend. He's always helping me out when I need help, always give me advice. He's always the first guy I go to if I need help with something or need someone to talk to. Uh, outside of the channel, he's been uh, yeah, such a really, really close friend and has helped me through a lot of tough times over the year. I'll just say that. He's, uh, he's always there for me anyway, so I can't say enough good things about Mike. He's been so great to me in my channel and helped support me and try to get my channel more uh, subscribers, and, you know, always promoting my channel. Been really great. And again, Z Talks is so fun. It's my favorite thing to do. Uh, again, I'm so lucky that uh, that Mike uh, invites me every Z Talk. So I've been just about every Z Talk over this last year, except for the two and a half weeks I was gone in Europe, I wasn't able to be on. But other than that, uh, anytime he asks me, I'm always there for Mike. Uh, when's his, either uh, Z Talks or just a hangout and chat. I've done a lot of hangout and chats too. Anytime he's like, hey, you want to come on hangout and chats? I'm like, yeah, I'm there. Always love hanging out with Mike and uh, some other people that he uh, invites on and get to talk about movies. Love talking about movies. And so it's just, a, and getting to answer uh, difficult questions in the comments. And uh, we have so much fun, anyways. But yeah. That's been great. Um, and Mike's been on my channel uh, uh, sometimes too. We've talked about wrestling. We're both big wrestling fans. Me, him, and Norn have actually collaborated some, doing some wrestling uh, uh, rankings. Um, also, uh, Mike wrote a book called Suicide Rumor, which I highly recommend. I got it on my Kindle. Uh, really good book. Uh, it's Mike's first book he ever wrote. And you can get it for like a dollar on Amazon, on Kindle, whatever. Uh, yeah, and it's it's a short book, but really, really good. And he's going to write some more. And so I'm excited to see what Mike comes out with uh, the next year or so. And uh, I was so happy I got to have him on to interview him about the book. Even though he's a close friend, it was still kind of great to, you know, kind of try to do a... Uh, an interview I've never really done before and uh, interview him about the book, about his writing process. Cause I find it so fascinating that, you know, I know somebody who wrote a book. That's, that's cool to me. Uh, I really admire that about Mike uh, doing that. And we had a great interview. That was, that was real fun getting to talk to him about his book. Um, and yeah, I definitely be doing more and more collaboration with Mike this next year. And I've got a lot of ideas I'd like to like to definitely do with him. Uh, on the channel. So yeah, Mike, thank you a lot for your support. Uh, next, I'm going to talk about Adam from What The Gym. He's my first and longest collaborator I've had on the channel. And uh, we've done many, many collaborations. Again, probably him and Mike, I do probably the most, well, two of the most collaborations I do probably. 
because uh, we talk about movies and music. Adam's like me. We, we love talking about both. Um, we've done some, I know we did an album review on like Tom Petty's Highway Companion. Uh, just the other day, we talked about Aladdin, uh, me, him, and Jacob. So we're going to do a whole Disney series where we're going to talk about di different Disney animation movies. So, And I'm a big fan of that, so that's going to be great. Um, he's, of course, going to be with me on the Music Hall of Fame videos uh, that we're doing. We did a um, Christmas video. I think me and Briar did our five favorite Christmas songs recently. And we also did a video on his channel, the... Um, five favorite song, uh, albums and songs from 1973. So we're probably doing one from 1974 this next year, the 50th anniversary. So those have been great. And I can't say we've done trivia. He's been on my channel. I've been on his channel doing trivia games. Uh, yeah, so many collaborations. Um, it's been great. And Adam's one of my closest friends as well. Uh, it's been fun sharing, you know, my life with him. And he shares his, you know, traveling and everything that he does he does a lot of traveling as well and so it's been great you know you can see him travel he saw my traveling videos and uh we talk a lot about that and sometimes we just talk just for the fun of it uh he's one of those guys that love hanging out with and talking to and so adam thank you a lot for your support uh then briar from briar music showcase another longtime collaborator i feel like i've collaborated him for i feel like for one of the longest times and uh, we've done so many collaborations together. Again, he might be one of the most collaborators I've done with. And I love collaborating with Briar. He's a real fun guy. And he uh, his, his music knowledge is just absolutely incredible. Uh, I love asking him questions about music because I always learn something from him. And again, we've done so much stuff, mostly on music, sometimes on movies, in fact, um, as he's been on Z Talks as well. So it's great seeing Briar be on Z Talks. And and I say all these channels are growing so great. Mike's got over 2,000 subscribers. Briar's, in fact, Mike's almost at, got 3,000. I think Adam, he has over 500 now. Briar has almost 2,000 subscribers. So, I mean, their, their channels are growing really, really good, which is great to see. Um, but yeah, Briar, of course, we've been collaborating together a lot with Scott and Nick. The four of us have done a lot of album reviews. Those have been a blast to do. And I got a lot more stuff planned for Briar, so I definitely will have Briar on more this next year as much as I can, and and we'll do a lot together. So yeah, Briar, thank you, uh, thank you for your support and your friendship. Um, Scott from Soundland Studios, um, uh, so grateful that we got to uh, collaborate together. I think he started his channel. I don't know if this is just this last year he started his channel, Soundland Studios, and. Uh, another guy's really knowledgeable about music. Uh, they're all so much younger than me and they know so much more about music than me. Uh, so it's been a learning process. I've learned so much about all these different bands and uh, albums and stuff like that that I knew nothing about. Uh, again, he's sent me so many albums that I got in my collection now, uh, which has been really generous of him. And we've done uh, so many album reviews on his channel. The four of us, we kind of uh, got this really really good close-knit group now that we we collaborate as much as we can and done some great albums um have been a blast and some ranking videos and, and all that so um yeah i definitely look forward to more album reviews with you scott so thank you again for getting me involved on your channel i appreciate that um nick from townsend 909 another guy uh our core group that we've been collaborating together met him through um, scott and we've done all those he's been on my channel and now i'm on his channel about every week because we've been doing um album review or uh, we we've been do, doing um discography reviews i guess uh, where we pick an artist and we do all the albums of that artist and talk about every album uh we did one on simon garfunkel we're now doing the kinks which is going to take a little while and then we're all planning to do the herman hermits and john denver in the future so Got a lot of uh, videos with Nick planned in the future we're gonna be doing for a while now. And Nick's another guy that really knows a lot about music, um, especially 60s, he's like a expert at 60s uh, music. And so, yeah, look forward to more of that for you, Nick. So, uh, next, uh, Norrin from Norrin Rat 89, a uh, really good friend I've come to get to know. We've talked a lot outside the channel and he's another guy who's been a great help to me. Um, and we've done so many fun videos. Uh, it's funny, Norrin's a real uh, fan and expert at horror movies, and I'm not. 
and uh, yet I still enjoy <laughs> listening to him talk about movies, uh, even though I don't quite enjoy all of them he talks about, but we do find a lot of similarities in uh, wrestling. We talk about wrestling, uh, James Bond movies we, we really like, and um, even some, uh, we talked about some animation movies. I was on, he just started doing live streams this last year, and I got to be on one of them, which was great, where we talked about um, some horror-themed uh, animation movies, I guess, in a sense. Uh, we were going to talk about James Bond, but that didn't happen yet. But we're, we'll be talking about James Bond in the future, uh, for sure. Um, and one of my favorite videos I've done this last year, I did. he came on my channel on the live stream, and we talked about Bruce Lee movies, and that was so fun, talking about Bruce Lee with somebody who also was a big fan of Bruce Lee as well. So, uh, yeah, so it's been so great. Love collaborating with Norn. Hope to do more this next year. Uh, so, um, so thank you, Norn. Um, I want to talk about Jacob Martin. Jake Martin, another guy I've collaborated for a while now. Uh, he's uh, really smart about movies, great movie reviewer. And I love that he does Disney. I don't see enough people talk about Disney. So that's been great. Um, again, we collaborated the other day on Disney. We've been doing some music collaborations, in fact. We're starting, we did one on Queen, Aerosmith, uh, Chris Stapleton, and we're going to be doing one on the Lumineers here pretty soon. So we're doing some, and we've done some Led Zeppelin. So it's fun getting to talk about music with Jacob now uh, and always love talking about movies. Got to be on his channel and got to talk about, um, he, does, he does, has a DreamWorks channel. He talks about DreamWorks movies and I got to talk about Over the Hedge, which is one of my favorite DreamWorks movies. So that was great getting to talk about that with him and uh, also um, uh, shout out Ryan Cam uh, who collaborates with Jacob a lot. I only got to collaborate with Ryan one time, but hopefully we'll get to collaborate some more this next year because he's another really good movie reviewer and really smart about movies. But yeah, so yeah, Jacob, of course, Jacob's doing so much. He's going to college and I uh, uh, hope uh, he's pretty busy with all that stuff. So good for you, Jacob. Hope all that goes well for you. Um, I want to yell a, a shout out at Ryan from RWR Movies, which I feel like we don't collaborate a lot on each other's channels, but we definitely meet up on other people's channels like Z Talks. And he's another guy who's always commenting on my videos, which I always appreciate. Uh, that's one of my favorite things with people that comment on my videos. So he's been a great supporter of the channel. And uh, I, I want to support his channel as much as I can. Love watching his videos, his collecting videos. We love steel books, And uh, yeah, so definitely would love to collaborate with Ryan Moore. He's always been great. Um, I want to talk about Sin from Sin's Corner, which we haven't collaborated on each other's channels, but we collaborate a lot on ZTox. And she's been a lot of fun. She's a lot of fun to talk to. And uh, ha we actually have some pretty similar ideas about movies we don't like, <laughs> uh, like Saltburn. We definitely agreed on stuff like that. So, uh, and she has a lot of great stuff on her channel. She's got a really big channel. She um, talks to a lot of, she has a lot of these big live streams where uh, really great people on there that um, they know a lot about movies and do talk about years and movies and stuff. And so really great channel, Sense Corner. Um, talk about, uh, I'm forgetting his name, but his channel name is H Hallum, H-A-L-U-M. And I haven't really clapped with him for a while, but he's got a great channel. He hasn't done a lot because I think he moved and everything, but, uh, hopefully he'll get back to doing more videos and maybe we'll collaborate more in the future. But, uh, this guy, he's a great guy. I, I enjoy talking to him. Uh, shout out Jackson from Horse Tooth Cinema. Again, we only really collaborate on Z Talks, but he's another guy who's a very interesting guy. Uh, Got a lot of um, interesting takes on movies. Uh, we He likes more of these weird independent movies, or he likes weirder movies than me. I, I, I'm not into kind of the stuff that he's into, uh, but he's so knowledgeable. He's very smart about movies, and he does really good movie reviews. And I haven't seen him too much lately, but I know he moved. I think he moved to like England lately, so that's a huge move for him. But uh, definitely love talking to Jackson about movies. He's uh, really great. Uh, shout out Elliot from IMO Reviews. Uh, love his channel. He he does some of the favorite my favorite reviews. He's very funny um, and great editing in his videos. I especially love when he hates a movie. That's my favorite thing is hearing him rant about a movie. And he's been so great at. Uh, he always uh, is a very nice guy and he always answers my comments. Uh, always always been great. And I'm still like to talk about, he. I think he has like 600 subscribers and I was his number 200 subscriber. I always like to remind him 
uh, I was there as two, I was, got him to 200. So yeah, hope you're, hope everything goes well for you, Elliot. Uh, I want to shout out Jamie from In the Front Row. Uh, again, only collaborate really on um, Z Talks, but uh, she's uh, from Australia and uh, she, again, fun person to talk to and uh, uh, definitely, hopefully we get to uh, collaborate, collaborate more in the future because I don't feel like we collaborate too much. Um, but yeah, maybe we'll do more in the future. We'll see. Hope everything's going well for you, Jamie. Uh, shout out Lisa from Lisa Loves. Uh, another person who I collaborate a lot on Z Talks, and uh, she's from Ireland, so I love her Irish accent. And she went to Florida, and uh, I loved watching her Florida videos. And she does a lot of horror too, which I'm not into, but uh, she's very entertaining to listen to. And she does a lot of reviews on Letterboxd. Um, and she also won a contest I did last year, which I'll probably do again on the Oscars. I'll definitely do a lot of Oscars talk. That's like one of my favorite things to talk about. And I'll do another Oscars contest probably. And she won my Oscar, or no, she didn't win it. Sorry, she got like second. And so, yeah, I appreciate that, Lisa. Um, shout out Paul from Off the Cover, which I haven't collaborated with too much. I did some on Z Talks, I think. And, uh, but he's got a really, he's got a lot of good hot takes. I'll say that. Um, but yeah, maybe we'll talk more in the future, Paul. Uh, shout out Pete from Playtendo Guy. Again, I don't feel like I've collaborated enough with Pete. Love to do more with Pete. He's great. He's a really great guy. Uh, he has a great channel. He collects a lot. And um, he does live streams on Wednesdays. Of course, he knows a lot about video games, which is fun to listen to. And yeah, I definitely love to do with more with Pete. Uh, Rashad from Rashad G Reviews. Again, big time collaborator on Z Talks and uh, one of the funniest guys you'll ever Listen to knows a lot about 80s uh, movies and I uh, love watching him and Mike together, especially. Um, they've been great. Uh, definitely shout out Rob from Rob's Grim Music, as Rob has been so supportive of the channel. He makes comments on my videos and live streams, and he's been so generous of uh, um, sending me CDs. And I've got a lot of CDs from him, so I'm very thankful of that, Rob. Um, I hope uh, everything's going well for you. Um, like shout out Rodney from Rodney Brushwood, Love and Reviews. Uh, again, only collaborate with him on Zetox, but he's a real fun collaborator and uh, his reviews are really great. Um, I'd like to shout out Ryan Swells, another great channel. Does a lot of cool interviews, um, even street. He does ask people at like comic cons and stuff. He does like on the street interview stuff and questions. And I got to talk to him actually just not too long ago um, with Mike on Mike's channel. Uh, did you see that? Anyways, and he's a great, he's real fun to talk to. Um, I'd like to shout out Sam St. John, though we don't ever collaborate together, unfortunately. Uh, he does um, uh, comment on some of my videos, which I appreciate. And he's another guy who's got such a great channel, really knowledgeable about music. Um, definitely love talking to Sam if I ever get the chance. Uh, shout out Rick Strickler, which again, I haven't done much with Rich this last year, but uh, he's been one of my earlier supporters and uh, I've known him for a while, it seems like. And uh, uh, anytime he does anything, I, I love watching Rich. He's a real, real nice guy and great to talk to. Hopefully I'll see more of you this next year, Rich. Um, like shout out Brian for Massey's Main Entertainment. Again, another guy I don't ever collaborate with, but uh, I comment on his videos and he usually answers my comments and sometimes he comments on my stuff. So I appreciate it. He's got a really good channel, both talks about music and movies and, and mostly his collaborations with uh, like Rich and Sam and Randall and Sean have been really great. Uh, I'd like to shout out Michael Woods from Cinema Axeman. Again, I don't know if we've collaborated. We collaborated some I know on Z Talks, but another guy who's got a great movie collection and, uh, Really like talking to him, real nice guy. Um, a shout out Andy from Forgotten World of Movies. Again, I don't think I ever collaborated with Andy, but uh, he's got the biggest collection I've ever seen and always like hearing him talk about movies because he's so smart. He knows about he knows about every movie that's ever made, I feel like. And so definitely love to talk to Andy more this next year. Uh, shout out Sarah from Popcorn Chat. I've only, I've collaborated with her one time on Z Talks, but I really like her channel, so. I just shout her out and hopefully, and she usually responds to my comments. So I appreciate that. Um, I want to shout out Tracy from Nerdy Film Girl. 
which I met her one time, I think, on um, Josh's channel, um, Into the Lens. And that's where I met her, and I started watching her channel. One of the best movie channels I've ever seen. Uh, especially, I love that she talks about Oscars, which I love talking about Oscars. So she's probably maybe the next person uh, besides me that talks about Oscars all the time. Uh, and she's got such a great channel. She does a lot of uh, interviews and or has a lot of guests on her channel. Um, and she's been on other channels. She's been on some big channels. So like if I ever got to collaborate with her, I'd feel like, wow, I really made it in the YouTube uh, if I collaborated with Tracy because she's seems kind of big time to me now. <laughs> but uh, I love that her she has live streams on Tuesdays and her live streams are really great. And she um, is very nice to my comments. She always responds to my comments on there. Um, I want to shout out Scott from The Movie Critic. Again, we collaborated some on Z Talks and it's been great. And he has a great channel, does live streams on Fridays. Uh, I don't really do a lot with Scott. Love to do more with Scott in the future. Um, I'd shout out Steven um, Redelsteiner, um, who's from Austria and he has a channel, Steven Redelsteiner Experience. And we've or we've talked about Beatles and I've he comments on my videos, I comments on his. Uh, so uh, definitely love talking to Steven or Love to talk to Steven, um, but love his videos. Um, shout out Joe, the Joe's in one, uh, brother of Mike. Uh, it's got a really fun channel. He's a really funny guy. And we do collaborate some on Z Talk, so it's always great talking to Joe. Um, he's great. I like shout out Jake from 3D Movie Cinema. Again, I don't think we've ever collaborated, but uh, he does live streams with Jacob and Ryan Cam. And I, I have a lot of fun watching. They, they, they do a lot of watch along parties that have been a lot of fun. And Jake's got a really good channel. Uh, maybe we'll get to collaborate in the future. Um, yeah, I'm just, again, I'm shouting out these, these last ones are ones that I haven't really collaborated with, but I really like their channels and um, they're nice to me on, and they, re, re, they comment on my videos. Um, AJ's Movie Place, AJ, uh, another great collector. He does a lot of steel books and so forth. And uh, he always answers my comments and he comments in my videos sometimes. So I appreciate that, AJ. Uh, YK Reviews is such a great commenter. He comments on all my videos, it seems like, and leaves great comments. And I appreciate that so much. Um, Anthony Perez, again, I think maybe he collaborated once on Zetox. Uh, definitely love to collaborate with Anthony more. He seems like a really good guy, a really good friend of Mike's, and uh, has a really good channel. Reviews a lot of movies on there. Um, I like to shout out the view with Drew, one of the best commenters. Uh, he's always on every live stream. Like it's a, my live stream, Z Talks. If I'm on anybody's live streams, Drew is in the comment section. So I uh, really appreciate. Uh, and he has a he has a good movie channel as well. But really appreciate Drew. Um, shout out Gareth from Video Tasties. Again, I never collaborate with him, but he's kind of big time, I guess. Uh, he's done so many crazy interviews. I mean, he's interviewed Cynthia Rothrock. He interviewed a guy that like, I think directed like a John claude Van Damme movie. So, I mean, he has high, to me, kind of high profile interviews and uh, he does a lot of watch alongs. Every day he has a watch along, which are fun to, to watch anyways, but love to collaborate with Garrett. I don't know if that would ever happen, but thanks Gareth for, uh, for being good to me in the comment section, I guess. <laughs> um, uh, Shout out Randall Nelson, another guy who's on a lot of the music stuff. He's from the Kansas City area, so I love talking about Chiefs with him. Uh, we're both big Chiefs fans, anyways, and real nice guy. Um, I shout out Glenn Kellaway from the basement. Even though we haven't collaborated, uh, he's always been a great supporter of mine, and uh, wish we can collaborate again in the future. Um, shout out Josh from Through the Lens. Uh, he let me on a couple of live streams, which I appreciate him letting me on there, even though we have different movie tastes. Uh, he's a really smart guy and uh, really appreciate him. And then last person I'll shout out is Sam Glendening, uh, another guy who we haven't really collaborated together on our channels, but uh, he's been on Z Talks a lot and he's a really fun guy to talk to on Z Talks. And he has a uh, Facebook group that he invited me in, so I appreciate that, Sam. Anyways, uh, maybe we'll get to collaborate more in the future. So that's a lot of shout outs. It's a long video, but I always love doing these year end videos and trying to uh, talk about the year. And uh, definitely appreciate everybody that I've collaborated with, everybody that's commented on my videos. Uh, I appreciate you guys so much. And if I miss anybody, I'm sorry, but 
uh, so many people to talk about and really appreciate y'all and y'all have great channels that uh, I'd love to talk to you guys more anyway so yeah hope everybody had a good 2023 and I look forward to a good 2024 so have a good day and have a good weekend